what's up guys? Caleb here from Ailsworth Razors. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. This is my first video in quite some time. I think maybe five or six weeks. Apologies for the pause there. I was away, but I'm glad to be back. For the shave, I'm going to be using Seaforth Black Watch by Spearhead. And for the brush, I'm going to be using my very own Altair brush in 6061 aluminum with a G5C synthetic knot. And for the razor, for the first time on the channel, I'm going to be using this brand new four inch Dracant razor. All right, <clears throat> so talking about the Seaforth Black Watch. So this is not my first time using it, but first time using it on the channel. Here we can see the pour right there. I believe that is a four ounce pour, yes. Um, the price point on this is around $20, $22 US or $30 Canadian. So um, a little more towards the high end of the artisan tier of soaps. The soap itself is based off of a older wet shaving company, I believe, you know, from the 1940s or 1950s, kind of like that golden era of wet shaving uh, known as Seaforth. And the American-based artisan company Spearhead has taken it upon themselves to begin reimagining and reinventing a bunch of their classic fragrances. I believe the first that they released was the Seaforth Spiced. Then they had Sea Spice Lime, which received, uh, you know, pretty much universally loved. I have that one, although I have not tried it yet. Then there was Fleur de France, which I heard less about, and then Black Watch here. Now, Black Watch was meant to be, as I understand the story, um, an attempt by Seaforth to kind of bring themselves into this luxury tier mindset. So they were a staple in drugstores and whatnot, but not really associated with like kind of a luxury high quality brand. And they wanted a fragrance that would do that for them. So with the Black Watch, they did like a whole different packaging and rebranding and everything. The fragrance is defined as, um, you know, one that you can either dress up or dress down. It's kind of rugged and masculine, but not too rugged, and also refined and kind of colonial, but not too refined. The C4 version is uh, made by Sean Mayer of Mayer Olfactive. And if you know Sean Mayer's work, then you know he does some incredible stuff. Some of my favorite fragrances and wet shaving are by Sean Mayer. Um, the Watchman from Zingari Man being one of them. The scent notes on this are bergamot, so citrus. Then you've got jasmine, so a tea fragrance, and plum in the top. And then in the middle, you've got leather and oak moss. And then in the base, you have incense and sandalwood. So kind of a nice eclectic range of fragrances with some of the fruits, teas, incense, sandalwood, leather, oak moss, a bunch of like really kind of staple fragrances in um, just in, in fragrances in general, but especially in wet shaving. The scent was rather nice and strong off the, like off the lather, when I was lathering it in the bowl. Right now on the face, I'd put it right around medium. I'm not getting a lot of the, um, the citrus notes, those kind of top notes maybe a little bit of the jasmine and citrus but it's a very well blended fragrance the leather and incense are coming through 
and the oak moss especially is coming through. So the, the leather, incense, and oak moss together are kind of giving it a little bit more of like a slightly spicy kind of darker fragrance to me. Not super dark or overly dark, but just a little bit, you know, they're they're weighing down or pulling down the um, the lighter notes like the bergamot and the jasmine. Very nice so far though. Definitely a keeper for me. The base is very nice too. It's kind of up there within, uh, you know, those kind of top tier bases. Made a great lather with about a quarter teaspoon in my bowl there. Um, now for the razor, as I mentioned at the top of the video, I'm using this hefty four inch new handle. This just released last Wednesday on the Jacant. Here you can see this is um, one of our three inch handles for comparison. And you can see it's, you know, it's quite a bit different. Well, exactly a half an inch longer, but that makes quite a difference in the hand. I'm using the original plate and a second use Wismet blade. And the first pass was very nice. I think I'm going out with about two or three days worth of growth. Now I don't normally use four inch handles like this. For me, the 3.5 inch handle is um, mostly the sweet spot, but you know, I know some people like to have a little bit more length. The weight is about 10 grams heavier than the 3.5 inch. And the balance point is maybe just past center. So it's a little bit slightly higher up on the handle. I did do a live shade with this when I first got it, the, the four inch, just to test it out. And the shaving cyclist, Peter Wandoff noted that um, I was kind of choking up a little bit higher at the top of the razor when sculpting around my chin. But um, in particular for these nice kind of long strokes like this, gripping it a little bit lower down the handle and letting the weight of the razor do the work is, is actually quite nice. And I do know there are, you know, a lot of people out there who really prefer their longer four inch handles. Um, also, you know, for women, when they invert the razor like this and just having that longer grip for doing the legs can be very nice. We'll say it's particularly nice um, going against the grain on the neck here too. Get a little bit more of that kind of fulcrum effect with the weight of the razor. And it um, feels like, you know, just more control going against the grain. Yeah, that was quite nice actually. So um, I do see the, the allure of the longer handles for sure. especially when inverted like this. The price point on these, um, just because of the extra length, extra material, extra time on the machines to do these very complex patterns in the handle, it does add $10 to the price of a razor. So if you buy a razor and then you select the four inch handle, it will add $10 to whatever the price of that razor is, whether it's satin or machine finish. Let's do this black watch splash. 
I cannot recall off the top of my head whether or not this is witch hazel or alcohol. We'll find out. Hmm. Gonna call that witch hazel. There's a bit of that sting, but not not that strong alcohol sting. If it is alcohol, I'll be surprised. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients here. Hmm. It is alcohol. So very mild on the alcohol sting for an alcohol splash. It almost had that kind of watery witch hazel feel. Mmm, great fragrance on the splash especially though. Mmm, yeah, that blend of the oak moss, incense and citrus, it almost has like um like a warm kind of cinnamony vibe, but there's a lot going on there. Almost reminds me of black licorice in a way too. Very, very nice. Definitely um bumped up a couple notches when I put the splash on there too. Definitely a fragrance that I'm gonna want to keep around. So that was Seaforth Black Watch. If you like a little bit of kind of spicy, incense-y um, type fragrances, but also a little bit cologne that's gonna be a win for you. Um, the base performed very nicely. The brush was the Altair brush. And uh, yeah, it just just crushed. It's uh, always, always does a fantastic job with that 6061 aluminum and the G5C synthetic knot. And for the razor, that was my first time using the four inch handle on camera, did very nicely. Um, again, not normally a four inch handle user, but you know, getting some of those nice long swipes in and letting the weight do the work with that extra length and also in particular going against the grain under the neck, that was a very nice experience. So I'll definitely be switching this into my rotation too. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has uh, been Caleb from Aylesworth Razors. I appreciate you so much, and I will see you in the next video.